Good morning, church family. Good morning to you. How are you guys doing today? Are you blessed? Healed? Are you free? Delivered? I know you're saved. <laughs> Can you shout out hallelujah? Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> this morning we're going to talk about loving your enemies. Um, Because I'm going to be really real with you guys. Some mm. things that happened to Steve and I in the past, like about five years ago. Right. But first of all, I'm just going to give you a couple scriptures and... One of them is Proverbs uh, 17, 9, and it says this, Love prospers when a fault is forgiven, but dwelling on it separates close friends. Luke 6, 35 and 36, But love your enemies, do good to them, lend to them, without expecting to get anything back. Five years, and there's a lot of other um, scriptures on um, loving your enemies. Because right. Jesus talked about it a lot in the Gospels. Um, about five years ago, um, me and Steve, uh, um, well, we had a church, we running. had a church It was called the rock and it was really, it was really prospering. And, um, we had some stuff that happened to us. First of all, we, we had a, a young man with us that we loved Oh yes. and, um, it's even still hard. Like a son. Yeah, like a son. It's kind of hard because this young man practically lived in our home. He and, spent five five years diligently yeah, working by our side. We're side by side. And um, one day he just decided he was going to go to another ministry. That's right. And it was really hard on Steve and I because, like I said, we thought he was uh, uh, the real deal. We thought that he, he was going to stick with us to the end. Right. And, um, but that wasn't so. And then uh, another incident is when um, um, a wolf came into the into the pen. Yeah. And uh, well, let's just say it took some sheep. It took a lot of the sheep. He was a he was a wolf in sheep's clothing. We didn't, never, know we that didn't see it coming. We didn't see that coming. Didn't see it. Yeah, and so and that was hard on us. Yeah, it was really hard. And let me tell you, people, God. You know, we have to forgive. Oh, and yes. I remember I had to for, I had to go. That took I had some to, time to work that out. Yeah, we had to work <laughs> through that. Yeah. It was so difficult for both of us. To work through that yeah. and to continue in the ministry was so taxing. Yes. That uh, I don't know how we done it. But God. Somebody say, but God. But God. He's Only seen God. It. Only God. Yeah. Got yeah. us through that. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And I, I just want to read something to you here. It says this, love finds its motivation in God's love for us. His mercy to us is the basis of the mercy we extend to others. Say that again, please. <laughs> you want to read the whole thing? I liked it. Love finds its motivation in God's love for us. His mercy to us is the basis of the mercy we extend to others. Mm, mm, mm. And I got to tell you something. When I saw the one man right. in the store, this was like years oh, later, whoa. I saw him. And you know what, people, God, I had worked through, I had worked through that. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> to the point where I could actually hug him. And I did hug him, and I knew that I had forgiven him. Yeah, you know mm -hmm. that you know. And I'm just being real with you guys because... You know, things happen, and like things happen to you, and and it doesn't matter who you are. Yeah, and it's hard. It can be so hard. Even to the very elect, yes. <laughs> the Bible says, and you can be misled. Yes. And uh, yeah, you just really got to keep our eyes open. Yeah. You know, love is a commandment, so I had no right to hold Come on, on to Woo. any grudges, any unforgiveness. Yeah, yeah. Any anger towards that man or the young man that whom we thought was a son to us. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, again, that took, uh, like like Deanna said, it took some time. It took some time. But we worked that thing out and mm -hmm. it, with, uh, with God's grace and by his power, forgiveness became a reality. Mm -hmm. And yes, uh, we could hug you. We could shake hands. We could shake hands. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a big hugger, but, you know, <laughs> but I'll shake your hand unless you don't want me to. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There, it's a requirement, people right. of God, that we have to extend have love to. and kindness, not only to our friends, yes. but to our enemies, too. Absolutely. Yeah. It actually turns the table 
on the enemy. It sure does. It, it turns that right <laughs> around. You know? That's another atmosphere changer. He can't accuse you of anything because you've right. done what's right. You've done what's oh, righteous. That's good. Yes. You've walked in that love, <laughs> that kindness, yes. all of it. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. God is so awesome, you guys. Yes, he is. Yep. If we'll allow him to, he will straighten us out. And if we allow God to change yes. change with change us from the inside out, uh, and, and, and we'll be able to walk in that kind yeah. of love. We'll be able to walk in that kind of forgiveness. And uh, I know that uh, Jesus, he wouldn't have had a second thought. He would, he would have forgave just like that. Right? Yeah. You're forgiven. Yeah. You know, but it, uh, it, but it takes us, you know, some 2,000 mm -hmm. years later, a little bit of time. Yeah, it does. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Romans 13, 8 says this, Oh, no one anything except to love one another. He who always loves one another fulfills the law. Yep. Our actions have to be love at all times. At all times. Yep. Yep. His grace doesn't give us the right to sin mm. and to hate our enemies. That's good. It does not give us the right, people of God. We don't have the right. We don't have that right. Mm. Yep. We've got uh, love. Wait, can I just say this? Love, yes. humility, and unity are to motivate us to godly living. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> That's good. Godliness prefers others, Shh. does not abuse freedom, and honors others in the body of Christ. And that's and, and honors those that aren't in the body of Christ too. Did you say prefers others? Yes, prefers others more than yourself. More than yourself. Wow. Love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. Listen, if you're struggling with that, mm -hmm. you got some things that has been done to you and and from others, and you're struggling with unforgiveness, and you can't forgive or you can't. Um, love them you, you, you despise them i suggest that you get before god oh yes repent find those scriptures on forgiving and anger because remember i told you before i've dealt with some <clears throat> anger issues but god listen people of god i'm overcoming hallelujah yeah i'm so i'm so overcoming god has changed me in such a way you guys it's been awesome Amen. And he'll do if he did it for me and Steve, Absolutely. he'll do it for you. <laughs> do it for you, hallelujah. Yes. Mm. So just get before God and, and allow him to change your heart to to do those things in your life so that you mm. can walk in love towards your enemy. That that love can come that and it be abundance. I'm telling you, it happened to me. I, I saw the guy, and we're talking about the one that split our church. Right. I could go up to him and actually give him a hug without any issues in my heart. Amen. Isn't that cool? Yeah. That is <laughs> and I'm not cool. I'm not crediting myself, people of God. Absolutely. It's all not. God. It is all God. Yes, it is. Nothing of me but all of him. Amen. Listen. Amen. That's good. We love you guys. Yes, we do. Yeah. And And we like God want to see the very word. best for you. Yes. Yes. And uh for you to live the life that you were born, born to, to live. live. I love like, that. Yes, I love what Pastor does that. Yeah. Yeah. Pastor knows all about me and Steve and our, those issues. Those we've issues. actually talked to him about it. And we have a loving pastor. That, yes, we do. Yeah. Oh, awesome pastor. Yes, we do. Um, all right. You want to leave us out in prayer, Deanna? Because yeah. that, that's on you. Thank you, Lord, for, mm. Father God, that we can come to you, Lord in any situation, in anything, in our hearts, and we mm. can pour them out to you. And, Father God, and you, you can Jesus. actually fix it and help us get mm. through those hard times, those things, whatever it's anger, unforgiveness, and loving our enemy, Lord God, because because you told us to do it, Lord God, and that we can live the life yes. that we were born Lord to live. live. In Lord. Jesus' name, amen. amen. We love amen. you guys. We do. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Peace. <laughs>